Okay, I want to show you guys something that I've come up with that, um, based on all the other videos and stuff that I've seen online with gutter downspout management, going into a piece of PVC pipe, I've not seen anyone else do this. I'm not saying no one else out there hasn't done this, I just haven't seen it, I haven't come across it. So, normally what you've got and what I've seen is you, the, the piece of PVC is coming out of the ground, there's your connector so that it that your your downspout fits in there nicely and all of this is glued up and then you get a clog something happens you need to come out here and try to clean it out or maintain something you can take all of these screws out of the gutter but all of this is so interlocked and so tight together that it's a real bear to get apart so what i wanted to do was and the other thing i've seen people do in order to be able to clean it out is they'll put a a Y fitting on here, right? And so they'll have a clean out port, you know, connected to a Y. But that's big and bulky and, yeah, you know, that's just too much. So what I did was, you know how you get your 10 foot lengths of PVC and there's a bell on one end so that you can slip your next piece of PVC into, okay? And then you keep on going down the row. I cut a section, a little strip of that bell off and I made myself a little slip collar here. So that slides up and you can see I've got the piece of PVC cut right here that allows me to pull this out and slide it right off. And that's it. I didn't have to undo any screws. I didn't have to have any tools. It was done. So this is the main piece of PVC coming up, up out of the, the ground. And I took another section of bell and just slipped that down around over to act as a stock. So that keeps my little my little lock collar as it were from you know slipping too far down the pipe now you could do that or on another gutter I have that that little ring is just sitting on top of the elbow that's coming right out of the ground because it happens to be right there at, at, at ground level so I didn't have to do any additional section you know to, to keep it from slipping and sliding but anyways like I said, this just makes the whole process of having to take this apart and put it back together. And especially if it's raining and you come out here in the middle of a rainstorm, you're not having to fuss with it too much. And then it's back together. And it's all just as locked together and solid as if you had glued it all together. Uh, anyway, so I hope that helps somebody out. Maybe gives you an idea to on how to, you know, be able to do your setup so that you can you can maintain it, get it apart, get it all back together easier. So hope that helps.